Tip number 23. Don't be scared of creating components by yourself. And uh, I'm not saying that you must create all the symbols, all the footprints, all the 3D models by yourself. What I'm saying is every hardware design engineer should know how to do it, should not be scared of creating new components and uh, should be willing to create new components if it is needed. Okay. When I was starting with hardware design and I didn't know how to create uh, new components, I still remember the feeling. Yeah, I, I saw schematic which I needed to create and there was this uh, component which I couldn't find on the internet. So I really was not sure what I'm going to do. Yeah, <laughs> am I going to use different circuit or am, am I going to find like replacement for, for the component? Learn how to create new component. It's simple, it's not difficult. A lot of uh, engineers, uh, they just don't want to do it. They just don't want to create components because it's boring, yeah? it's responsible. So they just don't want to do it. The thing is, creating components, creating the libraries is part of board design process. It is part of your job yeah, to create or to know how to create the components and if it's needed, create them. I know some companies, uh, they are looking for different, different solutions, yeah, downloading the components from internet or, or outsourcing these uh, libraries or components to third party. Okay, I understand it. Yeah. It may look like good solution, maybe in some cases it can save some time, but it's not so difficult to create it in your company. In our company, we create all the symbols, all the footprints by ourselves. Yeah. What uh, Sometimes we import the symbols, we import the footprint from reference designs, but we create our own libraries because uh, I need to trust the components and uh, the, I need to have the components designed the way as we use them. We need to have parameters in the components. We need to have the footprints designed uh, with the uh, mechanical drawings and uh, all the designators on dedicated layers and all the, you know, all the special stuff which we use in our boards. So we need to have basically kind of customize footprints, customize symbols to meet our needs. If you go on internet and if you have multiple sources where you download the components, there may be differences. Yeah, your schematics, your boards, they will never be, you know, following one standard from your company because you will be following standards from different companies. So what can help you is Okay, if uh, there is a simple way how to download the symbol or footprint, you can do it. But then many times you need to adjust or modify the symbol or footprint by yourself. Yeah. If there is simple way how to download the symbol or footprint from DigiKey, I would probably download it yeah, and I, I would just modify it. But I don't really look on specific website or in Altium wall or somewhere else uh, for the components. I know we uh, we don't create uh, 3D models, yeah, we download them, we use the 3D content central, I like it. And I know some people they use, for example, this Snap EDA, where you can download the symbol, you can download footprint, they also have 3D models. And you can download it for different softwares, but uh, it's really up to you. Yeah. So if you like, you can outsource the components completely, or you can download something and modify it, or you can create it all by yourself. But don't forget tip number 23 don't be scared of creating components by yourself. <laughs> Why? You need to know how to do it. And many times it's your job. <laughs>